How's it? We're back, baby. 2020 college football. Finally. Woo! And let's recap. Hope everybody's doing okay during this crazy year with all the virus stuff and everything else. But just glad to have live college football back. Let's pick up where we left off with a segment called Put a Sock in It. Oh, and this pains me to do this, but the very first sock has to go to Rick Stockstill and the MTSU Blue Raiders. Now, it pains me to say as an MTSU alumni, but they flat out sucked against Army. Who knew Army was wor- a world beater all of a sudden? Just going there and throttling MTSU 42 to zero. Like the game wasn't even close. And I love Coach Stock. I've met him a couple times, but, man, you know, no pun intended, but the stock is dropping like a rock. I think with his son Brent finally graduating and moving on, I don't know how interested Coach Stock still really is anymore in MTSU football. I mean, it was borderline coaching malpractice, man. I don't know if y'all saw at the uh, end of the first half. Had a minute left. You're down around the 10-yard line. We take a sack, and then we just just stand around just – just looking up at the scoreboard like no big deal with two timeouts in your pocket. And you don't take any timeout. You just let the clock run. It's like, what are we treating this like? It's a freaking scrimmage or something. It's a real game. It's the first game. What are we doing? Uh, so needless to say, I'm still not quite over that beat down yet. Sock number two, the SMU Mustangs. Now I know you won and everything, but you beat Texas State by only seven? The Bobcats? Are you kidding me? I mean, they're terrible. You're a 24-and-a-half point favorite, and that's all you can do is win by a touchdown? Come on, man. Shane Bouchelle, where are you at, dude? My goodness. I, I, I don't know. Maybe you're just worried about your haughty little girlfriend. Now, don't get me wrong. She is a beautiful young lady, Miss Vasquez there. I can't, I can't blame him if his head's not in the game. I understand. I got a hot wife, my, hot wife myself. Um, yeah, I understand. You know, a, a hot woman's distracted. You know, is a distraction. And maybe Michelle throwing those two INTs in the first game was just distracted by his hot girlfriend. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, he was more concerned with her than he was the Texas State Bobcats. I guess I can't blame him. Third and final sock. Oh, this this one hurts also. The Navy midshipmen. How in the world do you give up 55 points to the BYU Cougars? 55? Got absolutely boat raced. The only game on last night on ESPN, just absolutely demolished by BYU. What an embarrassment. I just, I, I felt, I felt sorry for the midshipmen, honestly. I know they said something about how they weren't able to practice, you know, with full tackling due to COVID or some other crazy excuse like that. I don't know. Hello, it's football. You've got to, you've got to practice tackling. You've got to practice hitting each other. I just, I don't know. I just don't get it. But anyway, it was just a major beatdown, and it was just an awful game to watch, especially if you had the under like I did. That was toast right away. But anyway, that's our uh, segment to kick off week one. Not many games out there, but uh, had to discuss a few of them. Looking forward to week two. It's great to be back. Love you all. We'll see you next week. Woo!